This video was brought to you by Technically Not a Technician. In today's video we'll be talking about the graphics I've made, and that we'll be using to finish the physical modification of my Quake Arcade 1UP Tournament Edition. If you're unfamiliar with my project please see the above link, or find the link in the description. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this video, and please remember to subscribe. Before we get too far, I want to point out that I'm not what I would call a solid artist. I do have a good understanding of a program called GIMP. GIMP stands for GUI Image Manipulation Program, and it is a very powerful Photoshop alternative. I'm poor, so I like free. If you like free, and you want to give this program a try, please check out the description, you can find a download link for this program, and a few others that I've found helpful over the years. I'm using GIMP to try and replicate the arcade cabinet artwork. This cabinet is very rare, exact numbers are unknown to me at this time. I personally only know of two. One is in an arcade I would very much like to visit called, the Galloping Ghost Arcade. The second is for sale in an online ad, and I think it may be a clone. Truth is, I've never seen either of these units. For the replication of this arcade art, I'm going to use the examples that look like all that are of, the cabinet at the Galloping Ghost. This unit seems to be one of the original units, and because of this, we'll be using it as an example for my arcade 1UP modification. If you're an arcade nut like me, you may know of the Galloping Ghost, as it's well known in the arcade community. I only know of them by reputation, and if I'm ever in Brookfield, Illinois, I'll have to visit this site. Kind of a bucket list item for me. The original Quake arcade cabinet was very light on the cabinet art. This is kind of lucky for me, as again I'm not a great artist. In reality the side panels are black and white, with a simple logo on the top. None of what I'm making will be exact, and the truth is the side art will probably be the closest to 100% accurate. I'll also be making a bezel, marquee, and the artwork for the control deck. Everything that you see right now, is being made up as we go. I have no idea what I'm doing, and everything that you see on your screen is learned from trial and error. Side note, GIMP happens to have a very active do-it-yourself community, and you'll be very surprised at how much you can learn off of YouTube, and the internet in general, in regards to GIMP. Anything I've wanted to learn how to do with this program has been a simple Google away. It's given me the freedom to take the items I've found on the internet, and make the changes I need to build the graphics for this project. All of these graphics should fit on its panel without any issues. The only item I worry about is the control panel, and I worry about the buttons more than anything. As I said, I'm making all of this up as I go, and to be honest, if I'm off, and I've got to try again. It's not really a big deal. The important thing is that I have fun, and I learn something new. Not sure if you can see how I'm trying to size my button layout, but what I've done is taken a picture of my control panel and sized it over the graphic. You know what speaking of graphic. I downloaded the original files that I'm using as a template off of Reddit. Truth is I have no idea if these OG files are the right size, and I can't remember who provided them to me, but with that said I know they're originally from arcade graphics, and I'm sure they'll work really well. Ok back to the buttons, GIMP lets me resize the picture you saw of my control panel to have an idea of where my buttons, and trackball are, and it then lets me remove all of the background colors on my control panel leaving the buttons, and giving me a nice template of where everything should be on the final panel. Also, some of these graphics are going to be redone more than one time, as I totally change as I'm learning, and if you recall, I'm making all of this up as I go. Because I'm making this all up as I go, I'm sure that there are better ways to make this graphical artwork for my arcade mod, but for now I'll work within my abilities, and we'll grow and learn as time permits. I honestly think we're doing very well for a guy bullshitting his way through YouTube. I mean it when I say I'm making all this up as I go. Also, it looks as if in reviewing this video, I've found a mistake I made. The word quake in the marquee should be a gradient yellow, and not a solid yellow. If I had a natural eye for art, I believe I would have picked up on that right away, and as of making this video I've already sent the artwork off to be quoted for printing. I've also seen that I forgot to add the verbiage, Arcade Tournament Edition, under the word Quake in the marquee. I think I'm just going to keep moving forward for right now. I'm thinking I'm going to print the marquee as is, as a vinyl for right now, however in the future I'll draw a light-up marquee. 
To be honest this is really the first cabinet that I've done all the artwork for. This is a simple and ideal unit to try and learn on, as cabinets from this time are very light in the side artwork. This cabinet isn't from the classic era of arcade games, as Quake Arcade Tournament Edition came out in the late 90s. If you try and compare the side art of this cabinet to the cabinets of a popular 70s or 80s cabinet, 9 times out of 10 you're going to find a higher quality in the older units. The truth is people stopped going to arcades to game as consoles became popular in people's homes. In most cities today you're not going to find an arcade, and if you do they will most likely be attached to another kind of business like restaurant, movie theater, or jump house. It is kind of cool that we're able to now afford bringing these units into our home. I would have never thought it possible to have a home arcade. I kind of feel like a pimp, now that I have one. I want to give you an idea of where I'm pulling my visual information from. So this next section is going to be a few pictures of the cabinets, and cabinet sections. For as few of these cabinets as there are in the wild, you really can find a lot of pictures. I was able to not only find pictures of the outside of the cabinet, but also pictures of the computer, and the area in the control panel that they housed the keyboard and mouse. Because this unit is so light on artwork I was able to get away with only replicating the marquee, bezel, control panel, and the right and left panels, as far as the front plate I'm going to paint that solid black, and I may do some kind of coin door. But for now I'm going to keep it simple. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, and check out the next video below. It really helps the channel grow.